Have you ever wondered why our lives often seem to lack novelty and new experiences? We understand that the laws of quantum physics are valid. So why do we find ourselves stuck in repetitive relationships, jobs, and circumstances? It feels as if Newtonian physics, with its predictability and routine, governs our lives. The reason behind this apparent stagnation lies in our limited mastery of a crucial concept known as observation. Consider a particular researcher who sought answers to this dilemma. He pondered, who possesses exceptional attentiveness? Inspired, he contacted the Dalai Lama and requested the presence of his most accomplished individuals, eight esteemed experts, for a groundbreaking study. The objective was to investigate the brain activity of these individuals while they focused wholeheartedly on concepts such as compassion, divinity, and unconditional love. These extraordinary individuals had dedicated over 40 years and accumulated more than 40,000 hours practicing and honing their skills in focused meditation. Meanwhile, as they committed themselves to spiritual growth, others lounged on beaches, unaware of the transformative power of focused thoughts. The researchers decided to establish a control group composed of average individuals and teach them the art of focused concentration, now referred to as paying attention, similar to what the monks had mastered. Surprisingly, the average human's attention span dissipates six to ten times per minute. Consequently, only a small number of subatomic particles truly engage with our thoughts. To conduct the study, the researchers connected the monks to electroencephalogram, EEG machines, which measured the brain's emitted electromagnetic frequencies. A total of 256 electrodes were meticulously placed across the monks' heads, resembling a unique headpiece. This setup facilitated the creation of holographic brain images through a computer system, enabling the researchers to analyze brain activity. Initially, the monks were instructed to remain in their natural state. However, when they shifted their attention to compassion, an extraordinary phenomenon occurred. The frontal lobe of their brains lit up with unprecedented activity. Scientists had never witnessed such heightened activity in that brain region. In contrast, when the control group attempted to focus, distractions flooded their minds. Thoughts about physical discomfort, time constraints, personal concerns, and responsibilities occupied their consciousness. Consequently, their frontal lobes remained unaffected and unchanged. One exceptional monk displayed a significant surge of activity in the left frontal lobe, an area associated with happiness. The scientists marveled at this unprecedented level of brain activity, deeming this monk the epitome of blissfulness. Intriguingly, the researchers hypothesized that attention, concentration, and observation were skills akin to those found in tennis or golf. With practice, these abilities could be enhanced. Let us now contemplate the brain's significance as the instrument through which we process thoughts. While it possesses automatic processes that facilitate our functioning, the brain stands out due to its vast congregation of neurons, the largest in any part of the body. This neuronal congregation serves as the hub of intelligence. Consequently, the brain acts as the central clearinghouse for intelligence, while the mind represents the brain in action. In essence, the mind encompasses the brain's functionality, and studying the brain's operation through functional brain scans provides insights into the nature of the mind. Considering this, a crucial question arises. If the brain acts as the instrument for thought processing and intelligence, and the mind represents the brain in action, who or what drives the improvement of brain functionality? The answer lies in the enigmatic entity known as consciousness, a self-aware, free-willed essence that transcends the confines of the body, brain, and mind. Consciousness serves as the key to unlocking our potential for growth and transformation. Consciousness plays a crucial role in influencing the brain to generate thoughts and perceptions. Remarkably, the brain processes a staggering 400 billion bits of information per second. However, our conscious awareness is limited to a mere 2,000 bits of that immense data flow. Interestingly, these 2,000 bits primarily revolve around three key aspects, the body, the environment, and time. Our self-awareness predominantly centers on these factors, encompassing physical sensations like back pain, headaches, tiredness, and environmental factors such as temperature, lighting, and even our preferences towards others. We often find ourselves preoccupied with thoughts like how long a speaker will continue before we can take a break. 
Nevertheless, while the brain handles an abundance of information, it is possible to detach consciousness and self-awareness from the constraints of the body, environment, and time. Liberating ourselves from these limitations opens the doorway to enter the realm of the quantum field. To embark on a journey of change, it becomes imperative to recognize and bring conscious awareness to our unconscious mental and physical states. Alas, many individuals shy away from this practice. It is common knowledge that repeatedly activating the body's fear, pain, suffering, or aggression responses requires significant energy expenditure. Such chronic activation compromises our immune system by diverting vital resources away from our inner well-being towards external threats. As Greg Apley pointed out, achieving balance is essential. Stress and survival mode living disrupt this equilibrium, preventing us from maintaining optimal homeostasis. While short-term exposure to these states is tolerable, subjecting ourselves to continuous stimulation or fixating on worst-case scenarios disrupts the delicate balance of our brain and body solely through the power of thought. This perilous condition arises due to the conditioning response where our mind conjures up distressing images and emotions, ultimately dictating our body's subconscious behavior, such as fear-driven arousal. Consequently, this compromised internal environment suppresses our immune system, rendering us more susceptible to external factors. It is no wonder, then, that we find ourselves reacting more intensely to our surroundings. Greg's insight rings true in times like these, where fear pervades. While it may seem natural and normal to succumb to fear, what we truly seek is the supernatural, a heightened state of consciousness that emerges as a result of this awakening. This presents a unique opportunity for people to embark on a retreat of sorts. But unlike traditional retreats nestled in remote locations, the current situation allows us to find solace within the comforts of our own homes. Breaking away from our usual routines, environments, and interactions compels us to venture beyond familiar territories. By engaging in inward-focused practices such as meditation, we gain the ability to be present in the moment and open our hearts. Remarkably, our research indicates that when we cultivate such practices, we create an informational state that transcends the dangers and anxieties of the outer world. Instead, we can establish a sense of safety and security within ourselves. Astonishingly, just four days of dedicated meditation can strengthen our immune system by an astounding 50%. It is understandable that many people might find it challenging to commit to these practices, especially during trying times. However, it is precisely during these moments that our efforts carry the greatest significance. These are the tools we have honed and the skills we have acquired. Therefore, the question arises, what kind of information is your body receiving? Is it constantly bombarded with the perils of the external world, or can it bask in the safety and tranquility of meditation? By immersing ourselves in the present moment, our bodies begin to restore energy, and our immune system responds by producing vital T cells and B cells, which act as formidable defenders against viruses and bacteria. In this heightened state of objectivity, our body perceives no distinction between the emotions triggered by real-life events and the emotions we consciously generate. Thus, by cultivating a meditative state, we not only enhance our well-being, but also empower our bodies to manifest health and resilience in the face of adversity.